<laughs> well, a bit slower than what I'm used to with this boat. But yeah, since um, earlier tonight I slowed down, dropped the spinnaker, and I'm just playing time now a little. Because now I'm passing here um, under the Ile de Ré bridge. It's a really narrow space. There's lots of current, so if I get there too early, I love um, I love the current in my face, and also I wanted to get there by day. I've never been to this place. It's a bit uh, it's a bit tricky, I think. It's it's really narrow and uh, and lots of current, so I didn't want it to uh, go at night facing the current. So I still have two hours to, to get there and to have the current with me. So yeah, a little bit of chill. It's a nice nice morning, nice light. Uh, the boat is just moving slowly towards there. So yeah. not my thing to slow down, but not too bad that time. So yeah. And then I guess it's gonna be a bit upwind now to go back to La Turbal. But it's fair enough, I had almost 600 nautical miles or 500 of spinnaker ride. So pretty happy about this. And uh, now, back up, let's go. ask why I'm doing this uh, mini transat project uh, I've been sailing I started sailing really as a teenager with friends then in university I had the opportunity to join a uh, college sailing and uh, and just you know take boats out with friends then I started just sailing working as a skipper not even paid really often because otherwise sailing was too expensive for me as a student I started working more and more and and uh, I ended up getting this first boat I had, refitting it, sailing towards the Caribbean and, uh, and I wanted to sail faster. I felt that as a sailor I could do something different. So that's why I started to join uh, races and regattas around. And, and yeah, just uh, this mini transat project for me is a way to become a better sailor. I learned a lot through the Clipper uh, around the world race, even if we did so far only half around the world. I learned a lot. I sail on many different oceans, but this mini transat, yeah, for me, it's becoming a better sailor, learning about sail trim, about fine sail tuning, about all these things that I'm, I'm missing still today. So, yeah, I really want to race this boat, so it's a mini maxi. It's not just for me about crossing the Atlantic on a small boat, I did that already. I really want a competitive project, I want to test myself to see what I can do on a competitive project by myself. And I also I really like sailing single-handed, that's why the, why the choice of the, of the Mini uh, for this is a good way to start. And, uh, and yeah, just just see what I can do on the water with these boats that are really powerful and uh, in a class that is really uh, that is really challenging. So so yeah, that's uh, that's a bit about the, the why this project and now the how is going to depend a little bit on you guys what you can uh, do to help me to put me in touch maybe with a sponsor. I have this community that I have created since a few years on YouTube on Instagram. This might be what's going to help me to find funds for this project. Uh, I'm pretty sure among all these people that are following me, there might be one person that know one person that 
will be interested to get into into yacht racing, uh, into sponsoring yacht uh, yacht racing, and, uh, and yeah, that's the idea. So take care, stay posted, and, uh, and you'll see me around.